everybody, welcome back to this week's nutrition video blog with myself, Michelle Lachlan, a registered dietitian here at the Shaw Academy. Today, what I wanted to have a quick chat with you about is the effect of stress on your diet, your lifestyle, and overall its connection with rising levels of obesity. So we all know that there are many different things in today's society which can be causing you to feel stressed, such as work, bills, payments, debt, home life, family, kids. There are many, many things which can cause you to feel stressed, but if it is not managed, if you're not controlling your stress levels, this can ultimately have a negative effect on your mental health. What do I mean by this? You can end up feeling anxious, depressed, feelings of fear, dread, worry. Overall, this is not good for your mental health and it needs to be controlled. So is all stress bad? Well, the answer to that is no. Have a look at this stress curve. You can see on the left hand side in the green area, this is when someone is undergoing too little stress, a feeling of underload. They're not very challenged in maybe their workplace, at school, at university, and therefore their attitude becomes very laid back and they're less likely to take action. You can see this is causing is a decrease in their performance levels, which is not desirable. As they move into the yellow area, which is optimum stress, you can see that there is an increase in their performance, which is good. So if, there, if you have a small bit of stress, it is good at helping you to perform better. However, the problem occurs when you allow stress to get to levels where you are not controlling it and it's taking, it's almost reaching levels of overload. This is when you start to move into the orange area. You're feeling too much stress and you reach overload and this can cause exhaustion. If you allow this chronic stress to continue, you can fall into the red area where you start to to experience anxiety, panic and anger and this is when people can reach a burnout or a breakdown. Now, a lot of people associate fe uh, feeling very stressed with actually um, almost it's like a badge of honor in work. They feel like they're working really well because they're feeling stressed and this must mean that they're doing a good job. But that is absolutely the opposite. You can see that your performance levels actually start to decrease once you fall into the overload area of too much stress. So actually, it's having a negative effect on your performance. But what effect does stress actually have on your weight and how can it actually cause you to fall into the danger zone of developing obesity? Well, we tend to crave high glycemic index carbs when we're tired. So what I mean by high glycemic index carbs would be simple sugars, sugary snacks. So you're talking about sweets, cakes, buns, confectionery, um, comfort foods, which will give you that quick boost of energy as they're released into the bloodstream quite quickly. Fat and sugar-filled foods seem to have a feedback effect that actually inhibits activity in the brain that produce and process stress and related emotions. So this can actually cause people to feel a feeling of comfort. No wonder people comfort eat when they're feeling stressed. Stressed people tend to sleep less, exercise less and drink more alcohol than their counterparts who are not as stressed. And overweight people have increased insulin levels and stress related weight gain is more likely to occur in the presence of high insulin. But what effect does stress have on your hunger controlling hormones? Well if you're feeling stressed you're less likely to be sleeping well and sleep deprivation can have an impact on your, uh, your appetite regulating hormones. Leptin is a hormone which controls your food intake and leptin levels are actually decreased when you're undergoing sleep deprivation. This means there can be a stimulation of food intake and ultimately increase the risk for obesity and metabolic disease. Now ghrelin, which is another hormone, it actually acts centrally to increase your food intake. There is an increase in ghrelin levels when you're undergoing sleep deprivation. So just to put that into context, if we have a look at this image here, you can see that before eating, your leptin levels are generally lower than your ghrelin levels. So the increase in your ghrelin levels stimulates your appetite, causing you to eat. When you've completed eating, you should be feeling satisfied. Therefore, your ghrelin levels decrease and your leptin levels increase. And this will cause your body to actually control the food intake. But this process is affected by sleep deprivation, which is ultimately caused by stress, meaning you may not be able to regulate your food intake as, as efficiently as possible, causing you to gain weight. 
Now, chronic stress combined with a positive energy balance, so eating more calories than you actually need, and this is usually from comfort eating, can contribute to the risk of obesity, especially upper body obesity. And this is the area which you should be most concerned about because if you are carrying weight around your midriff, you're more likely to develop chronic uh, diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, among many, many other conditions. So what is the moral of the story? You need to control your stress levels as part of a healthy lifestyle. If you're focused on your nutrition and your activity levels, but you're not controlling your stress levels, you're doing yourself a disservice. So make sure you take a holistic view towards your health. Thank you for listening to today's video blog. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can contact us on nutrition at shawacademy.com. And if you're more interested in having a look at some of our courses, you can go to www.shawacademy.com. Thank you very much.